the easiest way to um, do the equations, the math equations you're talking about, is to click right here. I'll send this link to you. So it is a Chrome extension. And so mine is already on my computer. So once they remove it, it'll say add, add it with your BPS email. And then it'll appear here in the blue under Equato. So um, if you go here, you go to Drive, You hit new. Um, let's say I go to an untitled, just a blank Google Doc, right? Then you go, you click on the equ the equatal. I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it correctly. This will pop up on the bottom of your screen. Now the other things you could play with, but really, which you could, the easiest way right now is you hit this for the fractions. You hit the equation maker, right? Give it a sec. And then once it pops up, you hit, let's say you want to do three fourths plus one fourth, right? So you do three backslash. The backslash automatically makes it a fraction. You hit four. Now here's where most people mess up. You start hitting space bar and you're like, oh, what the heck? Hit the right arrow, right arrow. Then you plus one backslash four. Right, and you can say, oops, I did it there. Then you can say equal, right? Then you would just come over here and say insert math, right? So once you hit insert math, it's right there, right? And then, so you can solve it from there. Just in case, this is what I mean by backsplash. It's the one next to shift with the question mark. That's how you would just easily make an equation. You could also come here to where you could try to draw it. So the handwriting, right? So you could try to draw. So that's four over four is the answer, which also equals, see you start messing up. Usually you start messing up unless you're really good with the cursor. So. I, or I made pi, <laughs> not what I wanted to do. So usually for me, like you could try as much as you, it's easier when you type it out, but the handwriting function is there. See, I keep trying to, sorry, it didn't pick it up. So that's why I don't usually use the handwriting function because that one mistake sets you all off. Um, so for my advice, once again, I would come down here, just hit that. If you don't want this four out, just put a four, right? And remember, don't hit space or you do that. You can also put equals one. Then you come over here and hit insert math, right? So now you have your full equation and your full answer there. Right. Um, that's the easiest way I know how to do fractions. So.